there was a bunch of guys that got away with that before the internet rolled around. There was yeah. there was a predatory type of comedian that would just poach other people's premises and tr- sort of rework them. They didn't yeah. have any. There was nothing that they did that was creative on their own. Everything was derivative of somebody else's work. Everything. I always heard, and I'm sure he could do, a, you know, anything he wanted on his own volition. But I had always heard stories that Robin Williams mm-hmm. was that guy. Yeah. Did you ever hear anything yeah, about heard, that? I heard a lot of stories that he was that guy. Yeah. But, and I think Robin Williams was so, like, part of that manic sort of style. It's like this constant need to have a a, a bit about anything that you're talking about ever, and killing I think was more important and filling that hole inside of him was more important than anything and so he would just do other people's stuff if he didn't have anything to say did he get confronted by oh, other yeah. comedians oh yeah, yeah yeah there was a lot of stories Kinnison got mad at him oh lot, really yeah, yeah, yeah. he stole from Kinnison yeah he stole from everybody he stole from a lot of people so it is true I'd yeah. always heard that, yeah. Yeah, it's true. If you ask any of those comics from back then, there's always instances of Robin going on a talk show and doing your bit or going on this wow. and doing your bit. and Yeah. Doing Amazing. your bit at a club. Yeah. With him, do you think it was because he was just so spontaneous? He would That's just like real. puke it out? There's or? no way. Yeah. You, you, you've ha- I think he wanted to kill more than he wanted to be ethical. So at any cost, yeah, at I, any I cost. will kill. Yeah. And especially back then when no one was really watching you other than comedians. Yeah. Like even up into the 2000s, like the Mencia thing happened in 2007, right? Yeah. Even then, they, they were more willing to side with someone who they thought was more profitable than the the, the yeah. truth the, the truth about right. like, what is this person doing and how are they getting this material this is pretty clear that they're plagiarizing and if it's any other form of entertainment like music like they'll they'll bring you to court and you lose like you and then all the money from those songs has to come to the, the original person because yeah. you copied their song like yeah, that's yeah. a that's a classic thing happens in literature all the time uh, that woman who was the president of Harvard got busted plagiarizing. She's not a president of Harvard anymore. Yeah, there's oh, that's there's consequences always, but in comedy, it's always been self policed. Yeah, you know, and so that was it was a so it, it's a weird thing that thing that people do where they try to p- pawn off other people's bits as their own. Like it's a vampire thing because you're yeah. around all these creative people and you're just stealing a little bit from this guy and a little bit from that guy. And people are scared of you. Did you ever put a guy up against the wall and No, I didn't have to do that. How come? Because I just said things. Like you just verbally I just said, confronted. Hey man, don't do my fucking material anymore. You know that's my material. Yeah. Just like that. And you know, they're probably still gonna do it unless you want to hurt them. But it's yeah. like the thing about those people is they always get caught and when they get caught, they they everything after that sucks. This is how you know if a thief is legitimately a thief. If they're being unjustly accused, they're always going to come up with new material. They're always going to be creative. They're always going to yeah. have new great jokes because they're, they're actually writing and working on it. But if, they're, but if it's true, what you see is an initial special or something or a few things they do that are really funny. And then you see this massive drop off in like the concepts that they talk yeah. about the what the, the the irony just that they drops, discover yeah. Yeah. they don't have any like legitimate points where you're like wow that is crazy yeah. there's none of that it yeah. all goes away and it becomes almost like a person doing an impression of the original successful person yeah. because they have no creativity and now, now they're exposed so now they have to be really careful so you see that with every thief you see a couple early like big specials or something, yeah, and then you see massive drop off and terrible yeah. performances after that. It's yeah. because they're not real. Yeah, I think I can think of a. Few. They're they're parasites. That's yeah. what they are. They're yeah. vampires. 